Lately, celebrities are using historical examples on social media to show Palestinian history. But it turns out what they're showing isn't exactly accurate. Take, for example, supermodel Bella Hadid. And here's another from her father, multimillionaire Hamad Hadid. Now, obviously, Arabs have been here in this land for centuries. But you will be surprised when you learn the real history behind few of those examples which are frequently used to prove Palestinian history. For example, the coin highlighted by Muhammad states very clearly Palestine in English before the establishment of the State of Israel. Yet it also states Eretz Israel, meaning the land of Israel in Hebrew. Why? Because under the British mandate, Arabs and Jews both lived in the territory and have been living here for thousands of years. This land was occupied by the British and before that by the Ottomans. It wasn't an Arab state. Historically speaking, Palestine wasn't actually ever a state. It was only a region. In Bella's example, this football match footage from 1939, Palestine versus Australia, is actually a Jewish team from Eretz Israel. That's because this team, the Palestinian football team, was primarily made up of Jews from the land of Israel. And this team, it's actually Maccabi Tel Aviv, a team that still plays until today. Now moving on to arts. The Palestinian Symphony Orchestra, founded in 1936, was in fact an orchestra made up of Jews which later become today's Israel for money. And how about the skies? Well, this photo of Palestine Airways shows a now-closed airline which was founded in 1937 by a Jewish man in conjunction with the Jewish Agency for Israel. You get it? Palestine Airways? Jewish Agency? In pre-1948, there were certainly Arabic newspapers using the name Palestine in the region. But one of Israel's English language newspapers today, the Jerusalem Post, was actually named the Palestine Post and was founded in 1932 by a Jew named Gershon Agron in Jerusalem. Now believe it or not, there was even a Palestinian flag in the 1930s, which looked like this. Not like this. The Jews and Arabs who lived in the British Mandate even had a Palestinian passport, including former Israel Prime Minister Golda Meir. Check out this footage. What was Palestine then? Palestine was then the area between the Mediterranean and the Iraqi border. I'm a Palestinian from 21 until 48. I carried a Palestinian passport. Now there's a long history of Arabs and Jewish presence here in the land of Israel. But using these Palestinian historical examples in an attempt to undermine Israel's right to exist isn't the argument these activists think it is. So there you go. Now you know the real history of Palestine.